So let's start with the first slide. What we have on the left hand side is, you, let's say that's your application on the test, it's a web form, whatever it is. On the right hand side you see a typical script, a typical Selenium script, what you would need to implement to get it working, to get it automated on your application. And as you can see on the first glance is, it's a lot of code, it's a lot of boilerplate code, and it's a mixture. It's a mixture of um, uh, the functionality to, to, to get to your controls, to, to steer the controls, and the data you're using to, to, to put in into your application. If you compare it now with our model-based approach, there's a complete difference. We provide you with an extra abstraction layer. We call them modules. You create them, you scan them, or, or even record them. And they basically extract all the necessary information from your application. It's just another um, uh, abstraction layer providing you with an interface with all the controls you need in plain English. So if you compare these two, you can basically say uh, which control on the right-hand side matches the control on the left-hand side. Based on these modules we create by scanning or uh, by using a recorder, um, we, you then can create, simply can create test cases. These modules uh, hold the technical information. They are created once and they are reused in each test case now. So you have a single point of maintenance. You don't have to maintain each test script. It's just a single point of maintenance for many other modules. You can reuse them wherever they are necessary. And what you can see here is we, we, we have a clear separation of concerns. So on the right hand side, these are our modules. They hold the technical information, what is necessary to get to your control, to steer your control. And on the left hand side, this is our test case definition. So this basically holds uh, the information, what has to be done during our test case. It's not cluttered with any technical information. It's readable, business readable. You don't have to be a technician to understand what's going on here. All right, let's say we've got our application here. And if it's an HTML application, um, the UI we are seeing is basically just an additional abstraction layer. Behind that, you have some kind of HTML code, uh, some JavaScript, and so on. So the UI itself is just an abstraction. And the same holds true for the actions you actually do. So whatever you put in into your application, it will end up with some uh, kind of service call. There will be a service behind, there will be communication with a, any server. And, and that basically is, again, pretty similar. You can see the fields you have in your application in that uh, so service definition. Um, and if you now create an API test case out of that within Transcendis Tosca, we again provide you with an abstraction layer which um, gets rid of all the technical information that is necessary and puts it onto a business level. So this is a typical API test case. You've got your fields, um, you put in the values and um, you, you put in the actions that have to be done. And if you compare them down, now a UI test case with an API test case in Tosca Commander, you can see they, they pretty much look the same. So there's, there's no reason to be afraid of API testing anymore. It's, it's the same interface, no matter if it's API, UI, no matter if it's, if it's Java, if it's HTML, uh, we provide one interface for, for every test case. And if you compare it now with script-based testing, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious. With script-based testing, you have to maintain your scripts um, you have to create them for a single uh, technology, but what is then if you have to support additional technologies? What if you have to, you have your legacy application, net application, Java application, SAP, and so on? Um, with Transcendis Tosca, we have just a single interface. One test case looks the same like the other one, and under that, we've got a very rich automation layer, which provides you with um, more than 100 different technologies that are supported, a lot of legacy, a lot of web, um, uh, mobile, and so on. And based on that, I want to do a quick demo directly in Transcendis Tosca. So here's Tosca Commander. Um, we've color-coded the different sections. And what is of interest now for us is especially the orange section and the blue section. The orange section basically holds our modules, which is our definition, our technical definition of our application and the blue section are the test cases. So how do we get now to our 
definition to our modules? Well, basically, we scan the application. Okay. Just a sec. So, what you do is you start in the module section and kick off the scan. The scan will automatically detect now what's, what's in your system, if it's a, a open browser, if it's any desktop application, basically anything running on your environment at the moment. I'll select our web application uh, in the background, the scan is done. And what we end up is with a list of all the controls that are at the moment visible and can be still with Trasenis Tosca. And here you just simply pick the controls you want to use. You could directly pick them in the list, but what makes it even easier is you have a possibility to select them directly on screen. So as you hover over your application, you get a, a overlay which, which uh, shows you the control you're currently um, uh, will end up. And there you see you simply select it. And then you're done. Save your module. Switch over to Trasensis again. Trasensis Tosca. And there we go. That's our module. And this module now holds all the technical information required to steer the control and can be reused in any test case now by simply doing a drag and drop on your test case. And let's give it a let's kick it off a, a demo test case for our insurance calculator. We'll go one one time through the whole application. So this is now a test case that will open up the browser, will will navigate through the application in the end verify a certain value in the application. Here we've got even a wait time, so you have to synchronize with your application. That's it, we click OK, and that's basically it. There is our result. So, bottom line. Um, the big advantage of having a model-based approach is that you reduce the maintenance to the bare minimum. You no longer have to maintain several places. It's one single place for your modules, one single place for your test cases. And what is more, with the creation of our skin, it, it makes it pretty easy for you to, to start automating even if you're not a technical kind of guy. That's it from us. Thanks.